Hey, welcome back. It's finally gun time. So, I talked to you guys quite a while back about that I was going to do a gun build and uh, that I was working on one. Well, last year I actually finished it. It didn't take too long, but I just didn't have time to do a video on it. And um, today's the day. And I know it's windy. So I apologize for that. There may be some uh, bad wind noise in there, but we'll try to get through this really quick and then uh, let you see a little bit of shooting on it. And we're going to let Tyler finish it up. He really enjoys shooting it. Uh, it's a fun gun to shoot. This is uh, the Howa 1500 barreled action in 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, 24 inch barrel. It's got a 1 in 8 twist on it. It has the number 6 bull barrel. And let's see, FDE, of course, on the barrel. Paid a little extra, but I wanted the combo of FDE and black, so I thought that would look the best. The four end black, uh, it's a three piece chassis. The butt, I did FDE because they contrast with black as well. And um, you can do any AR style pistol grip. Um, I would say, and I believe they tell you in the description anyways, make sure that you do like a soft or you may have to, if you got a plastic, you may have to uh, heat it up and um, get that to form to it a little bit, the beaver tail. Um, other than that, I mean, it's, we've got the clip out. I've got it underneath the tailgate, kind of in the shade so it didn't get too hot so the ammo isn't roasting on us. But um, it is cleared. And then the one thing that I didn't like, which one of the reasons why I was hesitant on um, showing this, is I hate this scope mount. I do not like the color. Uh, eventually I'll get another one. I just wanted a uh, uh, quick detach on it. I do like it. It does work really well. I just, I don't like the way it looks. It just bugs me. And then for the scope, I went with the Vortex Viper PST. Uh, 4 to 16 by 50 and um, I've been pretty happy with it I haven't I haven't shot it a whole lot we haven't really had much time to get out and go shoot and um, basically we did a barrel break in and that's about it I've shot a few rounds since but um, we haven't really gotten out to shoot a lot and like I say it is a fun gun to shoot it's it doesn't have any kick um, if you are looking at these this is a, a fun one to have. I know the market's pretty much getting flooded with everybody wanting to do a 6.5, but it's a flat shooting. Uh, doesn't have much kick, so especially for kids hunting and stuff. Um, Totter, he uses a um, 223, and he loves it, um, but I think he likes this one a little more. Yeah. Uh, it is fairly heavy. I'm getting kind of tired of holding it. I'm out of shape for that. But uh, now the bipod, I just got a cheapie on there right now. And um, I'm going to see how it works out. May do a review on it. But other than that, it's about all I got. Uh, ammo. I am using Hornady. Uh, the match ELD 140 grain and I've got the app on their ballistics that I use for my ranging and it seems to be doing okay. I'm going to tweak it a little bit and we're going to do something later on in another video. Uh, I'm going to try to do kind of dial in my muzzle velocity and um, we'll see how it goes but for now that's what we got. And um, I'm really happy with it. Like I said, I ain't shot it much, so more to come. And it does have a thread protector on there. I gotta figure out what I wanna do. Either a muzzle brake or go with something else, suppressor or something, I don't know. So, there we go. So, hang tight, we'll do a little shooting. And we'll check out the groups on it, and then uh, we'll finish off with uh, Tyler shooting. We'll get set up. 
All right, I think we're ready to throw some down range. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Not bad. Just to the left inside a red circle. It was just below it, right on the line, the red to black. What? I got a fly that's uh, not leaving me alone. All right, let's go for three. I either need to adjust my scope or I'm slightly letting it pull left. Now the fly is on my hand, that's great. And he likes me. Alright. I know. That one pulled. That one pulled real bad. Let's go to number four. Yeah, I'm it's trying to my body's trying to twist to the right. I moved somewhere. Oh. Could be my feet. Are not staying. Where are Yep. Yeah. Alright. I'm not going to go any more than that. We'll go check it out. See what we got. Or show you guys what we got. Alright. Unloaded. Chamber clear. Yeah, I knew I pulled that one left. Pretty bad. So that was one, two, three, four. I knew I pulled that one. My uh, feet had slid over to the left on the bipod and I didn't realize it until I started looking at it. It was uh, naturally trying to go to the left so I was trying to force it over to the right. So that was my bad. That was just something I need to watch in between each shot. Um, but 
I do like the gun. Actually, I love it. Oh, where are you going? Huh. So, that's what I can do with it. Um, like I said, I haven't been shooting it much, so we definitely need to uh, do a little better. Do some more practicing and get that tuned in a little better. So, let's get down here and uh, we'll finish it off and let you guys watch Tyler shoot it for a little bit. And um, so, yes, I'm going to let Tyler shoot. I know some people freak out about that, but uh, I've been kind of teaching them from a long time ago on how to treat guns, how to handle them, and uh, basically real safety cautious with him. Uh, he has taken his hunter's education and uh, got his little certificate for that, and, which that's why he gets to go hunting and do all that good stuff. So. He's going to be safe, and I'm sure he's going to try to outshoot me. He usually has some excuse to come up with, and um, I guess we'll just get to see what he says, but, <laughs> but who knows. Uh, yeah, that's all I pretty much have for it. Uh, like I said, we'll just uh, finish this out with him shooting it, so he'll uh, shoot this video on out of here. Uh, man, I still need to come up with something to say at the end of a, a shooting one because I'm going to stick with my other slogan on the, on the end of fishing ones. So all I can say is uh, stay safe and uh, have a good one. Oh, yeah. See ya. All you got to do is just slide your bolt forward and you'll be ready to shoot. My earmuffs are on, so it's on you. your hand up high on the grip. Mm -hmm. Slide your hand up high on the grip. There you go. Hit the what? Good. Are you trying to brag? Is that what you're doing? Thank you.